be ready to welcome their swimmer uh, to the line. Don't forget they're going to be land crew as well. place overall, having the third fastest swim at 2.31 and the fourth fastest run at 7.04, an amazing debut time of 24.24.34, Jeremy Howard. He's my, he's my best friend, you know. He was my training partner until I left, I mean, we trained every day together until I left for med school, so. It's, uh, it was great. He was out here last year for me. He did the same thing. I worried about the swim. He got through that. I worried about the, the first, you know, bike. He got through that. Yesterday was horrendous. I thought from yesterday was horrendous with, with that wind, wind and I'm everything. But yeah. Today's easier because you don't have to worry about a bike and you don't have to worry about yeah. bike failures. <laughs> All you have to worry about is running down the road. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. today is uh, good from that standpoint. Less, less people a little, go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> So unfortunately, my crew has had to leave. My parents just had to leave. Um, and I need to throw a huge shout out to them. They, my crew did an amazing job. I, I know my crew was my mom, my dad, and Christian McAvoy, uh, my best friend. And Christian did the race last year. I was out for the race, uh, was part of his support crew. And that's when my journey here kind of began. I didn't, I didn't really know what this was all about. Um, hadn't heard about it before he mentioned he was doing it. And I just fell in love with all the people, the camaraderie. And the night that he finished, we're sitting around with a couple of beers and I'm probably six deep. And we're talking, what do I have to do to get here? Well, minimum requirement is you have to do an Ironman. Well, my longest race at that point is a marathon. So I signed up for Ironman St. George because it was the only one that was available. Got through that and um, Jane and Cheryl and the team here graciously let me in to this race. I'm sure they had questions about whether I could finish or what my credentials were, but they let me in, and um, I'm, I'm very humbled to be here with all of the incredible athletes who are in this field. This is an amazing race, and everyone out here is, is very inspirational, and that, that got me through all three days. I mean, they're, they're long, they're hard, and there are definitely highs and lows. And the last thing I'm going to say is, um, I have one, one more story. Christian's on his way here. He's in med school right now. And he came for three days. He flew out at 4.30 in the afternoon on Sunday um, to go back to med school. And on his way out here, he met three Russian triplets on the plane. <laughs> and, <laughs> and they invited him out. On Thanksgiving. He, he got in here at noon on Thanksgiving and they invited him to go out uh, that night. And he, and he said, no, I have, I, I have to support my best friend. <laughs> and as some of you know, he joined the Navy to pay for med school. And he's sitting next to a Marine and when the triplets put their earbuds back in and listened to their iPods. He said, I know you're new to this, but sometimes we leave a man down. <laughs> and so, halfway up the Kohalas, he yells out the window as he's passing me, I gave up Russian triplets for you. <laughs> so, thank you all very much. certainly tells you something about the sacrifices people make for their friends, doesn't it?